Welcome back everyone to TNO, the last season of your your host. Hey, Mocha Lover, and right now we must decide whether we should bide our time with Leon de Grel or enhance the surveillance techniques. Now, overall, I asked you guys yesterday which one we should do. Actually, at the time of this recording, there's an equal amount of support for doing both. So overall, the one on our left for bide our time ultimately says it says laying off for now increase the Walloon's loyalty and decrease his suspicion, which it sounds like it's just a one-term bonus. And we don't know how much loyalty Walloon's loyalty the loyalty will give us. Or we have this one in which we get decisions to lower the girl's suspicion, even though that will ultimately cost us political power. I think overall this one is better to do just because a one-term boost in loyalty and decreases his suspicion is okay. But if we have to do this over several different times, even costing political power, that's okay, maybe a little bit. Uh, I think overall this just seems like it has a longer term effect. But although we are not acting in the near future against DeGrell, that does not mean we should relax our surveillance on him. These last few months, our file on DeGrell has only become bigger, although we know that he is suspicious that we're already investigating him. We must push on. We already have so much, but we don't have anything heavy on him, so to speak. The Reichsfuhrer has ordered us to bring him irrefutable proof. That De Grel is a traitor, and we shall comply. We shall not let our leader down. De Grel's secrets will be exposed, in which it is almost time to once again evaluate the <clears throat> very, very skilled, totally voluntary labor force in our beautiful Oldenstadt, shall we? And we can already activate these plans, but we're going to wait until after the German Civil War is over, just to make sure we got enough supplies and... Stuff like that. And political power too, because we're going to need political power and guns and such like that. So, once again, we shall come over here and look at 2270. And how many police officers? We only have 600 police officers in reserve, which is not much. So, 44. Uh, let's see. 22 is 4,400. 36. 70 times 2 is 100. That should be okay. Uh, Pekadin. Ooh. If we do that, 2,900. 5,800. Pretty good. We do this one. 1,800 is pretty good. Let's see. This one's... Ooh, that actually went up by a little bit, but we're still okay there. And for this one, 1,500. We can actually take away, like... That many, which means 3,040. That's good. I think we saw this one already. Uh, actually, maybe not. There we go. And this one, 1,700. One, two, three. Good enough. And, oh. Oh. 17. Oh. Actually, I think I'm going to stock up on a few more skilled laborers for now. Just because even though we could use them in the field. Oh, this one's not good either. Uh, we can get rid of them very soon. That's okay. Horon. And that's okay. And then down here, we are still okay. Good. Just because we have a few more options up here as well. So to activate this plans, because we're going to activate Glo Glo Global Plan Bear first, even though, you know, I did Condor before, but Bear is first, which we're going to need a lot of infantry equipment, support equipment, political power, and supplies. Even though we already have 65, I just don't think we will be able to get it done fast enough before the German Civil War starts. And we probably want to help out Hadrish as well. But we can buy tools, spending political power uh, for and to buy stuff, really. And increase support and loyalty in certain areas. Walloon, eh, whatever. Small deception maneuvers, uh, we're okay for now. And industrial output, I do want to get rid of a lot of these um, slaves. So, uh, we get rid of a thousand for 100 political power. We get even more supplies. But I want to get rid of these slaves, so let's at least unlock that one first. And start saving some more of our PP up first. Because we still have 2900, Verona conference ends, so be it, so be it. But begin phase two. Everything is squared away. The native divisions are hot at work. Too occupied following order to think about much else, let alone subvert our rule. Our invasion of France has been planned out to be out to the man, and our border with the Reich has been further fortified as an extra security measure. Our brothers in Germany, likewise, are preparing for when they will be for when they will be called up for the cause. The Reich's Führer's plan is now well underway. Now we wait. Hitler is dead and dying, and the collapse of the Reich is inevitable. And when it falls, we will be ready. We get twenty more intelligence. Great. And 100 more political power. Great, great, great. Alright, so we did that one. So now we get these other options to... Ooh, 10 use. Uh, I mean, that's okay. You get a flat 10. This suspicion is 54. Current intelligence is 50. We get 9 a month, which is not bad. I want to lower suspicion. So 15. Oh, crud. We gotta do math. 15. And for every day, it's 0 .05. Ultimately, that is a number I don't want to think about in my head. 75, 7.5, so ultimately, that's really 22 and a half political power for this one, for 10, if I remember correctly, for intelligence, or, no, that was 3, that's not very much. If we go to 45, 25, uh, you lose extra 5, so it's 50 political power ultimately, probably for a large amount, that's probably the best one to choose, even though I don't want to think about math in my head right now, so, uh, we can do that once, expand intelligence services, no, 25 intelligence, we still get enough for now, up in investigations, 
What can we do about it? Plant a mole. For 50, I mean, honestly, let's see. If we were to do 50 right now, we'd have 73% chance. I want to wait. Get up to 80. Let's get up to 80, maybe. Let's try to get up to 80. And still the same month. Good, good, good. I want to increase our arm sales. We need more support equipment. So, actually, I did maneuver some... Uh, some guys over. Actually, we don't need to make any more divisions. Let's cut these down then. We should be able to save a little bit more equipment that way. Nice. 208. That's not bad. Really not bad. Uh, but we still don't have enough support equipment though, which really sucks. But whatever. Hmm. That's a big... That's, that is really a big loss of political power, which I just don't think we can afford, so... Ah, shit, punk. Good. Good. This will be needed for the invasion of France. In which they literally have... A demilitarized zone except for the capital, which really sucks for them, but happy new month. You know what time it is. Ooh, pay for nuclear spending. I'd love to do that. But, uh, all right, at least everyone is still loyal to us for now. 580 is not good. There you go. And over here, 2900, good enough. Over here, 19. Uh, that's good enough. Oh, that's getting higher. That's good enough. Uh, that should be not good enough. There you go. 2200. Hmm. Seven, oh, that is just barely enough here. Oh, wow. Over here, that's good enough. 17, um... 17, four, that's 34, 40. 34, 28, not bad. Not bad. And then 1,500, that's 3,080. Ah, this is not good. Yeah, seriously, this is a bit too much. That's okay, still here. And then over here, that is good enough. So, we are really stocked full of stuff here. And we need some more political power, but we get 1.1 every day, which isn't too bad, you know. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. Let's let's get Whippy. Uh, we could get Whippy if we really wanted to. Mm, really, it's Namur, that area. South of Brussels is this region here. Valonin? That's a bigger problem. You know what? I don't want, I don't think it's a good idea to do this, but we're going to try it. I want to I want to test this out. So, open investigations. Current assist mission is 51. Not bad. But large, for 45 political power, so it's 51, how much do we lose? Or how much suspicion does he lose? Okay, he loses about 12 for that much political power. Is that really worth it? Well, seeing as it is 45 political power for that, this one is small. Oh, no, it's this one. This one is small, so for 45 political power, so our third. 15 to 3 compared to 45 to 12. Ultimately, that looks better, but you do have a couple days left for this stuff as well, so, eh. That really does hurt, but eh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't. I don't want to think about it. Math is numbers, and numbers are not welcome here. And we got the political power, so that's why we did it. Awesome. Begin phase two. Shall we have an event, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or just get more PP. Maybe to wait for the civil war to start. Invest politically and financially. Well, we don't have to complete the plan. Give us a few more days, and if nothing happens. Then we'll do the focuses, so we don't lose any more time. I don't want to lose time. We have 70, 70 focuses. Seventy focuses. Seventy supply, which is not too bad. Um, and I, I do apologize for, like, stopping and stuttering and stuff like that, just because I, I want to make sure we do well enough here. Alright, so it looks like we're not going to get an event. we got to wait until the Civil War starts, so let's go and activate the first plan. And which we've got a couple comments to do as well to do. Someone recommends we do the global plan for the U.S. and Russia and stuff like that, so we will. Actually, we'll help out Russia right now. Let's try it out. So, global plan activated. Secret authorized only eyes only, so if you like to read about that, please go right ahead, and this is from SS Open Group and Führer Heinrich Müller. Take time to take a look and prioritize the next move. Great, so at least we're doing something here while we're waiting for the Civil War to start. And the thing is, we need to complete the focuses, but we don't have to complete the plan, from my understanding. I could be wrong, but Global Plan Bad. The situation in Western Russia is at once both a great victory for the Reich and a humiliating example for other destitution, wrought upon the Vaterland by the corruption that festers in Germania. On the one hand, the blighted steeps and scorched forests of Western Russia, full of bomb out cities, and collapsed into a menagerie of petty statelets, as a testament to the rightful fate of all the would stand against the invincible will of the Aryan race. Yet, on the other hand, the abject failure of the incompetent Reichskommissar at Muscovy to maintain the Reich's frontier against sea subhuman raiders presents or represents not only a material loss of living space for the Aryan people, but also an example the types of calamity to befall the Vaterland since the exile of the Schutzstaffel to the Oldenstadt. Any patriotic citizen of the Reich could not help but sympathize with us after gazing upon such carnage. Perhaps a few of the local intermention might be made to align themselves with the cause, too. A reach out expand into the Russian wastes. Very good. Followed up with some other things. So now we're going to... Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Bear. 
So, okay, so how many we're losing every month? We have 65 supplies, because it take, took 5 supplies to start, which is totally fine. Anything else here that we should really care about? Nope, except slaves. Ugh, <sighs> slaves. Kicking down the rotten structure, the dysfunctional front shall collapse like a rotten shed. Dealing with the Brotherhood? Why not? The forces that work in the chaos of Western Russia are a microcosm of all the ideological enemies of the Aryan race that pollute the Earth. Every creed that has ever been written and every poison that has ever been drunk can be found carved into the insides of the bear's corpse, from the decadent perversions of the most extreme forms of liberalism to the soul-corroding aberrations of strict religious dogma. Communists are not the only enemies of the Vatalem. The status quo, plutocrats, and misguided theocrats must also all be exterminated if we are to make the world good and pure. Most disturbingly of all, a few of the ignorant Untermenschen would even dare to call themselves National Socialists, unlike the comparatively prominent powers in Akhangelsk and Vyatka. These least of the Russian lesser powers are not even really worth anything to us as tools to achieve the end of someone else. They are simply lambs to the slaughter, bodies and hills to be given to the stronger powers around them. They deserve a most humiliating death, and there's no end to life more impure than to fall at the hands of your own subjects. The so-called Aryan Brotherhood will be punished for the insolence of their namesake, with the incitement of a mass slave revolt across their territory, armed and orchestrated by our agents, as its provocateurs will slip into the Brotherhood cities by night, sabotaging their labors and closures, and arming those who dine to, rather, to fight rather than flee. Let no Russian arrogant dare him call himself Aryan. And it is a few days past the month, so we must keep an eye on all this. Um, 22, 44, that's not bad. <sighs> Numbers, what do they mean? 23, 26, okay, that's good. Over here, 29, uh, lower by 50, you'll be good. Let's see, 19, 19, 3,800, 30, 30, that's good. 38, 30. Yeah, it should be 38.30, so that's good. Over here, it's starting to worry me a little bit more, but not too bad. 1,500. 1,600, good enough. All right, up here, 22, lower it by 50. We do have enough plus to throw these extra guys in, so that's okay. 34, 40, good enough, and good. Um, I, I, we got to stop spending so much police officers, but that's okay. 3,800 is good. That should be okay for a while. Ooh... You know, just keep it even numbers. That's probably my most important thing for me right now. Just keep it to even numbers as much as possible. Uh, let's see, 1,500 is not enough. There you go, 3,200. Even though now we're, we have less than 200, less than 300 officers right now, which is not very good. Uh, let's see, 3,000, that's good. And then 2,100. Good. If anything, we could probably decrease it severely so that we don't have to worry about it next time, maybe. There you go. It's probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Oh, invest in... Ah, yes, look at this. Invest financially and initially and lose a thousand more skilled workers. Get supplies, cost money, who cares? Freeze and thaw. Our operations in this frozen wasteland will be twofold. First, and of our primary, primary concern, is the absolute pulverization of the corpse of the former USSR that still festers in Akhangelsk. The self-styled West Russian Revolutionary Front and its underlings constitute an existential threat to the Odenstadt itself, not to mention the entire rest of the Earth, for so long as they are permitted to exist and to expound their cancerous ideology. They must be weakened by any means possible so that they can eventually be killed to a man. It is to understated to say that every moment the world continues to tolerate their ex existence as an affront to civilization and to humanity. Secondarily, it is incumbent upon us to select among the other warlords one who is most useful to us as a counterweight in the East against our rivals, and do what we can to either turn the Turn the others to his side, or else see to their collective room. One candidate looks particularly promising and has even rendered aid upon a Fuhrer once before, the warlord of Yadka, a man who would style himself an emperor and who would surely not rebuke or rebuff our advance or assistance, and clearly reclaiming his birthright. Others look useful for entirely pragmatic reasons. Comey is perhaps the most easily manipulated of them all, so fragile democracy that even the slightest push could be enough to turn their resources to our favor. We will court both of them to the unwitting service of the Reichsfuhrer SS. All the peoples of Russia shall dance to our tune in time. That's a modern question. Vlasov began his military career as a partisan for the Red Army, aiding communist forces in conquering Russia for communism. After his defeat at Moscow by the Wehrmacht, he turned traitor and joined forces with the right to lead those elements of the Russian population choosing to fight for the Fuhrer. From the beginning, his loyalty to the Vatalan was always highly questionable. A Slav and a communist besides, Vlasov did not deserve to remain alive after the completion of the war. He served his purpose until the collapse of the Judeo-Bolshevik forces in the East, and since then has simply been a squatter, using those German-equipped Russian soldiers that fought alongside him to turn himself into just another one of his petty Russian warlords. He deserves to meet the same fate as the rest, and Hitler is dead. A dissident in Vlasov's army, Oktan, is preparing to launch a coup in Samara. We will aid him generously in this in his insurrection. Oktan will soon find his ma manpower and equipment mysteriously bolstered, and that of Vlasov's loyalist forces suddenly at the weakest. He would be a fool not to take advantage of a gift, regardless of its source. Let us demonstrate to General Vlasov the fate that befalls all those who rise to power through treachery. Nice. Very good. 
Oh boy, global plan bot. A sabotage taught us now. This costs one supply. We can shield them from any barbaric raids. We can shield them. Why we want to shield them? Huh. And it's still October 17th, so that's totally fine. This is okay. Oh, command power. Uh, you know what? That's almost... That's not very much political power, so I'm okay with that. And then we'll investigate him probably after this too, so... Uh, Sabotage the Aryan Brotherhood. I mean, it really doesn't matter too much for Vyadka, I don't think. So, Sabotage Vologda. Oh, yes, Sabotage Vologda. By attacking, attacking and sabotaging the warlords around our investment. Okay, around Vyadka, we can shield them from any barbaric threats. So we can shield them. Break the chains of the Brotherhood. Chains on, cannot keep down madness, especially when such madness is armed with guns and weapons to create some minor slave revolts. Um, I really don't want to use too many supplies here, to be honest with you, so let's sabotage these guys. And we'll also sabotage uh, these guys, Samara, and break the Brotherhood's might. Let's do three. Because we have enough supplies, and we want to do well, but this is not, of course, our main source of uh, attention, really, well, realistically. So, now we got to keep her PP alive, too. And then the useful puppet. Western Russia presents a unique puzzle for the Orlenstadt. Our goals in the region are twofold and would seem to counteract one another first. We must mold out of the chaos and charnel pit of the Russian hotland a strong regional power to serve as a counterbalance to the Reich in the east. This interme intermediary must be strong enough to, in the interim to unite both the other fledgling Russian states as well as but a lasting end to the contemptible and thoroughly deficient Reichskommissar Muscovine, which has failed for a generation to hold the Vatalan's line against the Slavic Horde. Secondly, this new emerging power must n both not have any designs in the SS Oldenschaft Bürgen itself and lack the kind of ideological inclination that would render it likely to become a threat to the shootstop in the future. As luck would have it, an, obviously an obvious candidate fulfilling both criteria presents itself. The warlord of Vyatka, a descendant of the deposed Russian monarchy who self styles himself as a Tsar, as a promising candidate for machinations. The Tsar has even rendered aid upon the Fuhrer once before, allowing himself to be utilized during the defeat of the Bolsheviks as a propaganda tool to enlist Russians to fight against Red Army. Fatefully, Vyatka has recently commenced the construction of a major river port in the city, allowing us to implant several useful agents into the area covertly to enact our future plans. The first step will be simple influence gathering. Having a man inside the port facilities themselves would be extremely helpful to our, our future interventions there. Good. Now we can help them out, but by, by, I've already done all this stuff over there, and these guys have fallen apart. Good. Alright, not bad. Uh, so modern question, my friends, in which... Oh! Fall Ragnarkar. Um, I probably really should have waited to do this. Oh, that's going to take quite a few more supplies. Uh, I probably really should have waited. Hmm. But this isn't going to last too long. Uh, Arbeit Mach Fry, holy crap. Yeah, I guess so. Ooh, Fire and Brimstone. Well, Parisian meetings. Well, I'll do Fog Ragnar. It's only 11 days. That's not too bad, right? Not too bad. The Oldenshaw that now presides over the west of Europe was first convinced by the wisdom of the Reichsfeder SS as a bulwark of national socialism that would replace a Western Europe then dominated by the kleptocratic liberals of the West. Standing in his way then was a foe still all too familiar to us now, France. Amongst the most decadent and morally and spiritually bankrupt of the nations of Europe, this degenerate pestilence has polluted the air of the continent for centuries f for too long. The outbreak of war in the Reich, while contrary to our initial plans, will still provide us with an opportunity to exercise a solution to the French problem. Our soldiers, uh, our solution is to destroy France. The proud wars of the Oldenstaff has spent a generation training each day and dreaming about each night of the opportunity to enact such a boon for the Vatalan and our leagues better equipped and better drilled than the what passes for the army in the Vichy regime. The tragic demise of the Fuhrer and the commencement of the Burger Creek shall herald in, in its silver lining, the lasting end of the French people as a rival nation to the Germans in which we'll go to war and as that was going on, we could do this, uh, penal repair and stuff, by confiscating all sources of decadent wealth and seizing all assets from those Deemed degenerate in our newly occupied territories. Ten supplies will be added to its stuff. Oh, we actually get a core in Paris. That's actually not bad. Uh, we'll go to war with them immediately. And we could maybe help these guys out here. But I really want to finish Gopen Plan Bad. They are called Arms, Chaos, and Ausland. So be it. Uh, Hadris' Germany must exist. I mean, if he dies, he dies. There's nothing we can really do. I do want to help him out, but we have things to do first. So, in Hadris' wake, flood the border. Nice. On Spider, Global Plan Elephant. This war shall go on forever if we can help it. The final moves. Oh. So I think our goal here is to make sure that with, with at least Africa, that. Uh, oh, Twilight of the Diplomat. Nice. Nice. 
is for us to prolong the war in Africa as long as possible, from my understanding, so that uh, Han Tutik eventually uses gas on American soldiers. So, it is what it is. The widening the funnel that is Samara's corruption could lead to a weakening, weakened state ripe for the conquering. All right, not bad. Uh, keep getting some more supplies. We already have 69. Nice, 69. But we already Twilight of the Diplomat. Anything else here, resources-wise? No, we are perfect on resources, uh, as all Aryans should be. Uh, get some fuel tanks, because we can. And uh, it is 63. So we don't need that. 64. Anything for uh, artillery? Yes. The Reich's Fear SS sat at his desk, shuffling through his papers, wall upon wall of text, yet they all seemed the same. As his eyes missed it over, he barely heard the dull thud of his door swinging open, slamming on the hinges. Von Ribbentrop, an old ally, or as close to an old ally as could be trusted. A curt nod nonetheless, precise and cold, he had earned nothing more. Ribbentrop, I trust that you are well. The man was different, even under the Reich Fear as curiosity cursory gaze. He marched with none of his trademark confidence or zest and slammed down a manila folder on the Reichsfeuer's desk. A litter of hell, Reichsfeuer. Was it just him or was there fear in Ribbentrop's eyes? The Reichsfeuer SS's brows arced. He opened the folder, pulling out a small piece of paper and squinted. The words quickly became obvious through the Reich fracture. A condemnation. Its signatories were more disturbing still. Admiral Krank. Admiral Voss. Johann von Ribbentrop. What is this? The Reichsfeuer. A hand trembled over so slightly. A betrayal here. Now, who else? Could no one be trusted? Herr Reichsführer, in my capacity, I must object to our intervention in the French state. I do not intend to condemn or suborn you. Do not misconstrue me. He bent over and rasped. The effort visibly pained. The Vaterland bleeds, and night falls ever darker there. Would it not be wise to spare Aryan blood and Aryan treasure and preserve lives in the territory we control? Herr Reichsführer, you of all n people know I have been a loyal servant. It is my sin sincere belief that our work here will suffer from this military adventure. If only for my sake, please consider heeding my advice. You were dismissed, Herr von Ribbentrop. As he watched Ribbentrop salute and walk out of the room, he picked up the phone and dialed the Sischeheitsdienst. Promotion season was coming early for someone today. How unfortunate. Voss stops being a naval commander as well as Kranke. Ah, uh, von Ribbentrop. Oh, what a shame. But Walter Schellenberg uh, becomes a minister. Good. Very good. What a shame. Let's take a look. Schultz and Lassen. Ha. Huh. I'm glad to not choose such degenerates to lead our military. Oh, and I don't want to forget, don't want to forget, don't, for, don't want to forget. We got this stuff going on right here. 23, is good. Over here, 2900. Ooh, lower by one. We're good. We have plenty of room for slaves. Plenty of room. Come one, come all. Give us your slaves. 90, not bad. And then over here, 1600. Boom, boom, boom. Good, barely good enough. Just barely. 2200. Boom. Over here, 1800. Good. Over here, 1800. One, two, good. Over 1,600? Mm, you need more. There you go. 30,000. Uh, that's technically that's still good enough, So, but we can take them any off your hands. And then, that's good. Good, good, good. Hidden heroes. And then we'll do the useful puppet. The grill vanishes. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to do the, the grill stuff. Crap. I forgot to. Ah, oh, man. That really sucks. Ah, uh, that really, really sucks. As this Oberfjord Karl Schlosser glanced at the latest report from the front and pinched the bridge of his nose, while well, the pitiful excuse for a French army was easily folding before the might of the Waffen SS. It was no thanks to the Walloon Legion, in fact, according to other SS division headquarters. They were hardly advancing at all and refusing to report their positions to others. This was borderline treason. Schlosser picked up his phone, dialing Leon de Grill's number. The Walloon, Legion, Walloon Legion's leader did not pick up, but one of his German attaches did. Put me through to de Grelle, Schlosser barked. Standarten für de Grelle is gone, sir. Then find him and put him on. You do not understand, sir. De Grelle is gone. The next few hours were consumed by an onslaught of panic phone calls, briefings to a confused high command, and a mad scramble to find a replacement commander for the Legion. The well-respected Walloon officer Jean-Francois... Thierrat received a battlefield promotion, and he was able to execute the assigned maneuvers shortly after a short delay. Although the immediate crisis had been solved, de Grelle had practically vanished off the face of the earth, and many of his immediate subordinates in the Legion are unable or unwilling to say where he went. The SS is going to get to the bottom of this one way or another. Where did that dude go? Oh, crap. Oh, my, that's completely my fault. Ah, I was thinking about this stuff. I was thinking about the stuff going on in Vyatka. There's so much going on here, but oh my goodness. How are we, how are we doing this war? 6,000 dead Frenchies? 7,000 dead Frenchies? The French are broken. The Burgundian blitz through the French state has proved just as effective as we planned. The French military is in utter disarray, and the French government evacuated as far south as they can manage. Politicians already scattering abroad in an attempt to escape our might. 
Those few remaining in the country have already sent a surrender, offering us a border in central regions and even the rest of the precious capital. We can refuse and continue the war, but it is doubtful that we will be able to adequately manage and police that much land, and the influx of the territory that we are after will already stretch our administration to its limits. No, it is now time to enjoy our spoils. The war is over. Good. And we didn't even lose a single Burgundian soldier. As it should be. The generals cannot even kill a single Aryan man. Ah, oh, I didn't even give him upgrades. Except Dietrich. Good job. And we had uh, this stuff too. Construction, like, we were cut down military spending as well. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, 100 PP for that. We could do that. Well, so much for uh, the internal investigations. It's still November, so that's not too bad. So after these little puppets, uh, new Freikor, we might do that. Or we can do some of this stuff up here as well. That one should stop. Arbeit macht frei. Confiscate all the wealth. Um, we could do that. I, I think it's just best to finish this stuff up, because we still get this anyways, right? We still have this no matter what. So, a new Freikor. The blood of steeps. Uh, oh, wait, did I already read this one? Oh, a humble request. Did I read this one? I can't remember. So, the blood of steeps and scorched forests of the western Russia, full of bombed out cities and collapsed into a menagerie of petty statelets, stands testament to the rightful fate of all that would stand against the invisible will of the Aryan race. The same state of chaos wrought upon the Slavs by our predecessors, while now reap mighty rewards for the Odenstadt. The sordid state of local infrastructure and bureaucracy and generalized lack of order in the Russian hinterland allows us to move men and material throughout the land as we please, without many questions asked about the origin of this or that infantry brigade or weapon cache. If anything, local authorities in Byaka would be all too delighted to find a collection of expertly armed and trained soldiers arriving at their doorstep, ready to offer themselves in service to their beloved Tsar. We'll just have to do some something about the German accents. A humble request, my friends, though. Today, or honestly, I'm humbled to have been able to serve the Reichswehr SS in such a capacity. In order to fulfill the goals of National Socialism as best as I can, I will, however, need a few more resources. First of all, the Legion needs... More supplies to replenish those used against the French, of course. The officers of the Reichswehr SS's personal staff stared express, ex, uh, expressionless as a newly minted Stadt... Standartenfer Jean Francois de Art rattled off lists of supplies the Walloon Legion requested, as well as the inane task they'd wasted them on, and the organization of a manhunt against Leon de Grel, traitor to the Odenstadt. This got their attention. Uh, Tirart, uh, Tirart slid over a typed list of supply requisitions with the SS officers f thumbed through. One departed into another room, carrying the list, and the muffled sounds of a phone conversation could be heard. When he returned, he was as stoic as ever, but with a hint of surprise in his eyes. The Reichswehr SS has personally approved your supply requ requisitions and applauds your eagerness to eliminate those who work to undermine national socialism. He expects good results from you. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. See, hi. Teart. Tirart exclaimed as he gathered his belongings and hastily departed the conference room. Personal praise from the Reichswehr SS himself was a high honor, but it also meant that Himmler's eyes would move, would be closely watching him for any sense of failure. It is unwise to disappoint the Reichswehr SS. Oh, we have just barely enough stability. Oh God, we need, we have to always have 50 stability. The Aryan conquest, free from the chains of the decrepit old politicians in Germania. The Reichsführer SS led the Oldenstadt upon a campaign of conquest against the French state. And conquer we did, once again. France was swift to fall to German hands, surrendering vast tracts of the already, already pathetic nation to the Oldenstadt. Despite the weakness of the French state, the land they occupied is rich, fertile, well populated, and well stocked with natural resources. The French have, for millennia, put the potential of their soil to waste. The area man, however, is not so decadent. It'll be no small effort, but we shall achieve greatness upon the very grounds upon which the French failed. It all begins with the existing industry and workforce. Those assets which we which were damaged in the short war must be repaired, and the formerly French in industries and workforce must be integrated into a Burgundian society for the betterment of the Aryan race. This land is a workhorse which shall not be wasted. We will succeed where others have failed. The useful puppets is done. And so we have all this. My goodness. Holy crap. Arbeit Kultur. I like the stability. I really do. But we have enough war support too. Lebenskultur. Which you must do unsavory friends. Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. Now, this is the problem I've seen before that this is actually a bug. That sometimes the focus trees overlap with each other, which is really, really bad. Burgundian shipyards. The fist tightened. Ooh. Oh, nice. But a new Freikorps. I'm glad I already did all the stuff over here. So a new Freikorps. Because we're going to finish that one first. I don't care about the other nations for now. We got to finish what we do here first. Prop up the Tsar. Increase popular support. Uh, prop up their economy. Uh, wow. Muscovine looks god-awful. How, how many supplies do we have right now? 
We have 136, 69, Simeon's smile. Everyone knew him as Simeon. He tried not to give out a certain name, but if anyone persisted, he would tell them it was Vernich. Neither name meant anything to him. Someone back in Paris had picked them for him, just like he, they had picked his background. He was a river merchant from a farm village outside Miringo. He had three children, two daughters living with his wife, and a son that died in the war. Which war he died in, and the fighting which enemy depended on who he was speaking to at the time. His identity was eminently plausible, both common and dreary enough not to inspire much questioning. He'd never gotten accustomed to living as Simeon, though. Russia was too hostile and alien for him to ever feel at ease here. He mostly stayed by himself ever since arriving, and every time he tried to talk to somebody, like today, all he had on his mind was the need not to give himself away. Construction was underway in Vyatka, an impressive-looking port facility was being built along the river at the behest of the local Tsar. Rumor abound of a plan by the Tsar to earn himself a war just manufacturing vodka, and it was just that sort of rumor that Simeon was eager to explain. A medium-sized bribe was enough for him to be sat at an, an office opposite the crown representative to the port, discussing a trade agreement. Simeon was sure to be too enticing for the bureaucrat to resist. His ships would sail into Vyatka to unload potatoes collected from farm towns connected to the river, and on their way out of the city again, those same crates would be filled with bottles of the Tsar's vodka, of course. The potato crates would hide secret compartments, hiding bullets and disassembled rifles, and many of Simeon's crew were secretly more SS agents. The port bureaucrat didn't need to know that, though. All he needed to see was a friendly smile from a local merchant eager to make a profit for himself and his Tsar. If only all Russians could be so naive. Uh, I do want to help him out, so I'll probably the army build more. Increase popular support. Uh, two pieces of equipment. Ooh. We lose our construction speed output. No, I don't want to do that. Mm. You know, we're going to have to help him out. I don't want to spend our supplies. I really don't. I want to save our PP. Save our construction. 69 supplies. We're going to need all the supplies for everything that we're going to do. So, no worries. We're definitely going to be using them up as much as possible. And if we don't help out Hadrish, hey, it is what it is. I really want to help him out, but we have things to do. And Hadrish did fail us in the coup back in the day. Wow, Borman is going crazy. I just hope Borman wins and not Goring. Because if Goring wins, that's a big bad news for us. Dragging the feet, though. The Reichsfeer SS skimmed through Oberfjell's Schloss's report on the preliminary stages of the search for de Grail, shaking his head at the findings. The results were unfortunately sparse, in no small part due to the inaction of the Walloon Legion. Schlosser even included an addendum containing a veritable laundry list of all the ways Leon or the Legion officers have hampered the investigation. Orders conveniently lost in the chain of command, low troop morale, contaminated evidence, weak alibis, missing uh, witness reports. The list went on and on. This amount of incompetence was rapidly shifting into sub insubordination. If not an outright conspiracy within the Legion to solve the investigation, thankfully, their new leader, Terat, seems to have his head on straight. He was loyal, determined, and above all else, always seeking his rights, fears, SS's approval. He sent out a telegram shortly after Schlosser's report arrived, asking for how he should approach the investigation. Although he mentions the Legion is capable of beginning the investigation at once, he also asks for the rights for SS's blessing to col collaborate with the SS Legion. Langemach, although the Flemish no doubt hate the Willen Legion, they hate the Grail even more. All aid is welcome. Terat may reach out to Langemach. Times of the essence uh, must begin immediately. All aid is welcome, my friends. All aid. And kicking the rotten structure. Communism is the most widely, wholly detestable ideology to ever exist. It is a mental carcinogen. If not excised, it will spread and proliferate, polluting the thoughts of every race afflicted by its pestilence. Thankfully, Providence has offered the Aryan race an undefeatable protection against this incurable malady. National Socialism. It is our ideological purity that will enable us to destroy the West's Russian Revolutionary Front, just as the once pure Reich failed its predecessor all those years ago. Second to the ideological dep depravity. The greatest weakness of the West's Russian Revolutionary Front is their persistent factionalism. The three strongest personalities of the WRRF at present are Tunin, Zukov, and Tukhachevsky all hail to three of them to different I strains of communist thought and are wholly willing to kill one another and ruin all that there is left to ruin other meager states if it is if it shall see to the end of the rival's comrades. This is a most exploitable weakness. It will require only scarce efforts to fan the flames of mutual hatred enough to keep the competent leaders of Bolshevism focused on petty internal disputes rather than expanding their power base in time to stave off their execution by our regional assets. Alright everyone, so it's Christmas Day, still 1963, but before we read these things on screen, let's go over a few more comments. Um, someone recommends we get through the global plans first, or let's get through them as quickly as possible to avoid minor setback events that we'll get. Let's see, someone recommends we put down a save when the culture decisions come around, so I'm sure that person is talking about Arbeiter culture, as well as Lebenskultur, which would be very nice, and someone recommends we help out Hadrich in the Civil War. We'll see, just because, well, with everything that's going on, Hadrich is slowly, well, not doing so well, since Borman already pushed through uh, the river over here, the Rhine, I think. So, that's not good, but, um, I mean, if you want, I think I already made a save, so just in case, uh, but here's the deal. So, because of our situation here, we don't have any more space for, uh, <clears throat> those completely voluntary, um, individuals. So, 
I think what we gotta do is we gotta go with Arbiter Culture as fast as possible, and then the Industry Bezirk Rodomo. Work will begin on the Rodomo, a marvel of modern industry and efficiency. Further developments will acquire additional investments of skilled la labor or workers. Maintaining the Rodomo will require steady flow of skilled labor. So, I think we want to do that so we can start offloading some of these totally voluntary, totally happy, and totally not degenerate. <clears throat> I was going to say filth, but just individuals. But, and vet, but two. The two men sat at a table outside the cafe, sipping tea and glaring at each other with a sort of casual loathing. On one end sat Tiriart, and the other end sat Bert Eriks and the young Flemish commander of SS Legion Langemark. Although the Flemings and Walloons were ostensibly united under the swastika, old habits died hard, and ethnic hatred was as strong as ever, you're either a genius or a fool, Eriksen laughs, to think you can stroll into Flanders, request a meeting with me, and expect help with whatever problem you have. I'm not one of your Gatlicker toadies. That's not what that's not what a problem it's not a what that's a problem, but a who. Uh Tiart whispered de Grel. Eriksen's interest was piqued. So rumors are true then, if you're seriously t taking that Conquer leisure down. Name whatever it is you need. Give me a week and the longer Mac will make it yours. Tiriart extended his hand, but Ericsson cut him off. But I have one condition, and I know that all your little friends are going to hate, hate, hate it. I want to be right there with you until we catch him, which will lower Walloon's loyalty, but raise Langmark's loyalty. So be it, and eagles flock to the Tsar. A troop of skilled Oldenstadt soldiers arrived in Vyatka and Moss, equipped with locally acquired West Russian weaponry and passable accents. They lied through their teeth to the authorities, insisting to be imperial loyals coming to Vyatka to pledge their service to a Tsar. Every one of them felt sick having to impersonate a Slav, and a few barely even tried, staring at onlookers with a hostile glare that only made the whole group look even more intimidating. They each had their own little tale to spin about why and how they had arrived here, some talking of famine, and others explaining why the peculiar manners of speaking with stories about their faraway origins. Maybe some of the locals raised an eyebrow or two, but the Tsar's officials were all too eager to unwittingly accept the undercover SS veterans into the ranks, blue eyes or not, the eagle encircles the bear. So, I've already gone ahead and done this for the December 1. I forgot to do it earlier, but... Before the month ends, I've already done it, so that's not too bad, and that's how come we've got quite a few of these guys. Internal investigations, I'm going to keep that open just in case something else opens up here. And other than that, we got a lot of things for Global Plan Bath, so prop up the Tsar might be okay, but I don't want to hurt a construction speed or output, and definitely not our political power, so we're actually hurting for political power, which is very bad. Um, lend a helping hand. We could increase our army professionalism, but I don't want to lose stuff either. Divide the front, increase factionalism. Want to be bad Aryan Brotherhood. So what's going on in Vyatka right now? Uh, what are they doing? We have nothing. Put an end assassinations. That's probably a good thing, yeah. Oh, um, the Euro League, the Aryan Brotherhood, more prisoners. What's going on? Reopen the mines. Uh, and we have currently the amount of supplies is 74, which is actually pretty darn good. So if that's the case, I don't mind losing some supplies. Active for 25 days. A disguising, disgusting. System divided upon itself cannot stand, and by creating factionalism within the degenerates' ranks, we will kicked out the legs. Not bad. We can prop up their economy, though. Eh. Sabotage a bunch of other people. I don't mind sabotaging people. Stockpile, sabotage, army professionalism. That really won't help them unless they, like, really become, like, the warlord in the West. So, we'll see what happens. Break the chains. Three pieces of supplies. Corruption. Uh, encouraging the ascendancy of tomorrow's greatest oath will surely make the Tsar's life easier. We can do one more. Why not? Cool. So, let's go and do Arbiter Cult here to get some more political power, which we need, which I've already used 100 political power to get rid of some slaves, so we're still at 4,000, which is really bad. The decadence of the Reich has fostered an attitude of complacency and laziness in its Aryan citizens. If we're to avoid the twin menaces of social paratite... Para parasitism and decadence, we must encourage all of our citizens to labor for the good of the Orden shot. And I know I'm already, like, going, like... I really need to complete this one as fast as possible, but we have one, two, three more focuses to do down here. So I figured, you know what, we can do one, two focuses, then finish this, and then do stuff for the Civil War, which we're probably not going to be able to help Hadrish, I'm sorry. Uh, I probably shouldn't have started the plan this early, but it is what it is at this point. He's going to die anyways, just because Hadrish literally never wins in any campaign. Unless the player plays with him, which... Oh, to become death. At last, the Oldenstadt succeeded in producing its first few atomic weapons. A momentous achievement, to be sure, yet it is not enough. What few weapons we have yet produced is a first step, but it must be recognized that the yield of such weaponry is little compared to the advanced nuclear weaponry produced by the great nuclear powers after their decades of arms races. The Olden Shaw will never be capable of producing an apocalyptic arsenal such as that possessed by Germania or Washington, yet we must possess for ourselves a deterrent. As of current, it would take but one determined leader who cares not for the deaths of a 100,000 civilians to commit his forces against the Oldenstadt. And, 
from which point we would find ourselves helplessly and possibly defeated. The Austin must grow at all costs. The world shall know that it will result in suicide should any attempt or any enemy of the Reichsfuhrer SS cross into the Oldenstadt. It's a matter of survival, the destroyer of worlds. Now, hopefully, this does not screw up our focus, tr focus tree. Uh, let's see. So, we have the stuff we did begin phase two. We have the French stuff, and we have our back to cult here. And this stuff's so glitched, but now we have another one over here, our true goal. So, I'm not going to do this at all, just because the Oldenstadt strikes back. String geheim, my friends. String geheim. Oh, and happy 1964, my friends. So, we're still all loyal here, which is good. And we have only 20 police officers left, which is not good. So, as, even though this is more than two, we just can't do anything about that now. Um, that's still roughly two. Two to one, so. Over here, that's roughly two. Over here, that's roughly two. Over here, it's not very good, but it's r very roughly two. Uh, roughly to Vers Versailles. Oh, wait, we can, we can, we can lower supplies. So, uh, these guys. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, I feel a little better about that. Um, that's almost 1,800, which is 3,600, which is way too much. That's roughly too, um, this is really not good for us. Holy crud. Uh, so, uh this one has 1,700, which is... Oof. Okay, we're maxed out already. This is really not good, man. This is really not good. Uh, that's really bad. Over here, though, that's actually not too bad. Mm. It's not good, though. Alpenland? Ron? Oh, that's not good. I can give you 20 more officers. That's almost 300, so that's okay. Vichy is okay. Over here is not great. Silly Sir Lori? Oh, that's so that's actually extremely bad. Um, yeah, we're out. We're out. We can't do anything here here at all. I don't mind getting rid of our soldiers or not soldiers, but our uh, <clears throat> involuntary school workers. But we need more support equipment. We need 750 things of support equipment. Holy crud! At this point, we don't really need another army. So, or we don't really need the army too much. You guys, I'm not sure if we're gonna have a civil war, but I'm gonna get rid of you guys anyways, just because. We need some more support equipment. We only have 25 pieces. And also, I've also canceled some of these monthly surplus of stuff so we can get more political power and stuff like that too. Just in case, potentially. Yeah, this is not good. Not good. Give equipment. We don't have equipment to give. So, yeah. Now we have no uh, support equipment. Jesus. Go and cancel making more soldiers then. That's fine. A line crossed. The line of trucks headed by the Black Ben Sudan pulled to a stop at the fortified border checkpoint. At the, although the site would be unusual in much of the Aldenstadt, one of the few autom autonomies the Walloon Reg Legion retained was the right to police their own regional borders, while the leader of the Legion would ostensibly have no problem crossing. This content was considerably higher in the ranks, especially after word got out that he was collaborating with the Flemish to search for the beloved former leader. Thankfully, soldiers in the convoy had their doubts and scruples about working with Langamok. Thoroughly silenced with promotions and pay raises, the Ben's rear window rolled down as a guard approached, revealing Tyriat and Ericsson sitting in the back. Bonjour, soldiers! Tyriat beamed, official business on behalf of the Reichsfuhr SS. Here are the papers. They should all be in order. The guard took the papers and marched into the checkpoint's office. All around, it seems like the guards were on edge, watching the convoy like cocks and fingers on the triggers of the rifles. Will they ever dare to open fire on the commanding officer? No. Of course not. They wouldn't, right? After a tense minute, the guard exited and returned. Tyriot's papers. Everything to be, seems to be in order. Standart and Führer, Sigheil. He hissed only before coldly saluting and marching back inside. The gate opened and the convoy pulled through unimpeded. As Ericsson waved at the Walloon guards with a crap-eating grin on his face, Tyriot pulled out a case notes and a map with the Next, the game is afoot, my friends. The game is quite afoot. Oh, we need some more supplies. We need some more support equipment. And we need more political power. There's just so much we need, man. I'm so sorry, hey, Drish. I would... Wow. Borman has really split you in half. Um, Well, that sucks. We got, uh, you know, Strasbourg back, which is good for them, but still. Oh, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Ah, oh, good. All right, so we have a thousand more supplies. We got no more um, police officers, which really sucks. Uh, let's see, that's four thousand forty-one twenty. So they're about that much. All right, so go ahead on Ballon Pont. That is good enough for now. That's rough. That's quite literally roughly. And we'll go to Rhone. Uh, three thousand. So six thousand fifty. Lower. It. Over here, one two three. That's good enough for me. Eighteen hundred. One two three. Ooh. So it's thirty-six hundred. Thirty-six eighty. That's that's good enough. Vichy. One forty. Go ahead and do that. 170, 140, there you go. 
over here and over here. Um, 400. Actually, we could probably throw 50 more back in there. That's good. Okay, that's good. Um, over here, center. It was good. That one's good. So, Lee. So, about 300, 600-ish. That's roughly what we can do about that one. And Burgund? Uh, Burgund's okay. This one is okay. This one is roughly okay. This one in Fla Wallonin. Eh. You can buy one more. And Flandern? Good enough. I'm sorry that I'm taking so much time with this. It's just... We pretty much have to. Or we're a little screwed, so. Supply-wise... We have a total of 76. Not bad. Which means we could probably use just a little bit more profit with Tsar. I don't want to lose any political power. I refuse to lose political power right now. Weekly manpower. We could lose some weekly manpower. Sure, give them... Encourage... Increase the Freikorps. And we got to read about the Industrie Rodomo. The city of Rouen. In the past, the city stood tall for the inbred masses of the conservative French nobility of old. There they would convene with the ghastly corruption of the Catholic Church to celebrate their bastardized form of noble life. Whilst the truly virtuous German watch from across the continent disgusted at the actions that occurred within the disgusting pit of sin and wretchedness that was Rouen. Now, however, the city stands as a valuable asset for the Oldenstadt as a continuous search for a potential asset to acquire in order to relive or relieve economic pressure may have concluded in our newest greatest plans. Every brick, town, and cross shall be thrown away from the corrupted city, as every crack and crevice where sinfulness hides, and with it labored, forced labor, by the unworthy shall fill its place. Ruin shall become a new source of power by which the olden shot may rise, whilst the insufferable subhumans shall work for all of our benefit. And a new type of labor, though. Oh, new benefit. Oh, new, new type of labor. Yes, please. The noble Burgundian way laid out by our glorious Reichsfuhrer SS is, of course, all-knowing and impeccable, however. Some of its implementation in the field of industry has so far been less than ideal, naturally. These failures are a result of Zionist infiltrators and the weakness of the Untermensch over which we rule and we and can be rectified by the further implementation of proper national daddyism. While our factories are certainly productive, they have a tendency to produce poor quality and uninspired products and to communicate poorly with their fellows and superiors. The source of these issues is clear, a lack of scale. Although Fire by uh, Arbeiterkultur talks about the current state of Burgundian industry and the challenges for integrating the newly seized French lands, then introduces Industri Bezirk Rodomo, a proposed massive industrial complex a concentration of places where you can go camp at, based around Rodomo of Rouen in Normandy, where workers can be easily gathered for maximum productivity. Of course, the French did generous or scum unworthy to even stand on the ground with their Aryan counterparts, but through the Industrie Bezier Rodomo, even these worthless sly might be able to contribute something of value to the Oldenstadt. They shall become cogs in a glorious machine, my friends. No worries. No worries. I can't wait. I cannot wait until we can get them in there. Expand the mines. Ooh. Hopefully we can just... Just throw, chuck oh, so many in there, but a lesson on democracy's failure, shall we? The Republic of Komi has learned entirely the wrong lesson from the Second World War, whilst the people of Europe proper largely took the Reich's victory against the Western liberals and Eastern Bolsheviks as proof of national daddyism superiority. The Untermenschen of Komi have decided to swap from one failed system to another, abandoning their nation's empty communistic rhetoric in favor of the empty democratic rhetoric. Contemporary Komi is now plagued by all the same chronic instability and rampant sedition that has always epitomized their adopted system, and their rotten labor in attempting to induce democracy now offers us the sweet fruit of plucking the Republic as an apple from a tree. There's barely any more discord left to sow in Comey, but our agents will not fail in finding yet more pandemonium to precipitate. When death comes knocking on Comey's door, it will all but fall off at the hinges. The Teton Republic only needs one good shove to fall off the cliff. Oh, I can't wait. Uh oh. Charlemagne. I knew you could not be trusted. Um, I don't mind spending 100 political power, but we gotta get rid of these guys. So. Oh, look at the industry Rodomo. It's by means we can industrialize Oldenstadt, okay? We can concentrate soldiers in, or workers in Normandy, develop various aspects of the industry berserk. We get nationwide benefits, but also raises the amount of workers needed to further expand our domo and the amount it consumes each month. Consumes, sure. Should we then later fail to provide with enough workers, the consequences of our industry would be disastrous. We should expand our urbanization drive. By concentrating the workers, we will more easily be able to identify and repurpose those with the right skills. With the expansion of the nuclear program, the French, French Zentra Massif is home to notable uranium reserves that can be used to strengthen our deterrence capabilities, if exploited properly. First, we have to establish mines in multiple regions. That will give us enough uranium to build new refinement centers and expand our arsenal. Not bad. So there's any sort of way... Oh, wait. We'll get guns. That's all we can get. I don't like that. I want more than just guns. We need more than just guns. For the love of God, 
Give me some way to get rid of these stupid slaves. Because right now we're maxed out. We got... Actually, no, we're not. We got a few we can take. Okay, give me some of you guys then. I don't even care. Just give me... what. You, uh, actually, yeah, that's, that's a bit too much. Um, 290, that's good enough. Over here in Versailles. That's good enough. Just because I... I see... I know why we have to do it every month. But it is a little tedious for us to do it like this. So, um, make sure this place is actually really just okay with us. Uh, over there, that's not bad. It's getting pretty bad around certain areas, though. Which is not good. And we're going to deploy 20 more police officers. If that's the case, uh, that should be good for this group. And then Versailles should be also very good as well. So, 460. Wow. I mean, this is just looking so bad. It is just uh, loyal and loyal. I like that both are, are loyal. That's good to have. That's really, really good. Uh, even with 100 political power, but it's not good. A trader's end? Schloss, his much anticipated report on the hunt for de Grau arrived on the Reichsfeer's SS desk, which he eagerly flipped through. The initial pages were discouraging, full of euphemisms like exhausted leads and temporary obstacles, but as the investigation was winding down, Terriart and Eriksen's squad stumbled upon a bunker that was ostensibly de decommissioned and removed from records years ago. More curiously, it was guarded by Walloon Legion soldiers who weren't part of any chain of command. They opened fire on sight, and Terriart and his men were forced to fight a bloody room to room battle to clear the bunker. In one of the rooms, they came across two rogue legionnaires. Concluding the impromptu cremation of a body. They were quickly killed by the loyalists, and the fire was doused. Although the body had been severely burned by the fire, it could still be identified as a middle aged man in an SS officer's uniform. An exit wound at the top of the skull indicated that he had shot himself shortly before his body was burnt, meaning he had likely committed the good old suicide when the raid on the bunker began. The Reichsfeer SS opened an envelope that accompanied the report, thumbing through grisly photos of the charred corpse. Nauseating as the scene was, it certainly looked enough like Dick Grell. He queasily returned the pictures to the resting place and let out a sigh of relief. Schlosser's report concluded by mentioning that since the news of the raid spread, there was significantly more quiet in the ranks of the Legion. It wasn't certain that DeGrelle was actually dead, but in these trying times, it was good enough for now. Let us hope that this is the end. Which is kind of preposterous. Did he really kill himself? Why would he kill himself? I mean, yeah, I mean, he could escape. Why shouldn't he? Why wouldn't he just escape, you know? But no matter. We get more political power, more sports stability. I cannot argue with the results. Just can't. So, we, can I buy police officers? Uh, how much are we doing for this? Because right now, okay, so guns, we got more than enough guns. I'm going to cut down to one. We need more support equipment. Jeez Louise, man. Uh, factory output would be okay. Just don't need to do that, though. Cap and output would go down. They're already pretty loyal, so actually. Well, Charlemagne is loyal, even though these guys domestically have more loyalty over there. And, uh, refocus the state. I'm not going to do that. Nope. Require monthly supplies. We're doing okay. Hitler's still fighting in England, so be it. And a lesson on democracy's failure. Good. And we're still building up some more civvies, so. Um, actually, what happens if we increase, max that out? Like, do we have to just go, is it Evero, Paris? Wait, where is it? Picardine? Where is... Oh, Redomo's right here. So, it is technically Normandy. Oh, we actually see the loyalty. Charlemagne. Police to worker ratio, two. It's, it's all two. So, that's actually not good either, but, um, hmm, combined blitz? Sure, why not? I'm just waiting for, ah, uh, update on the construction of Industrie Berserk Rodomo, my Reichsführer. This missive brings excellent news for the true National Socialist German Workers' Party, the Aryan people, and the Oldenstadt. The construction of the Industrie Berserk Rodomo is well ahead of schedule. On our current trajectory, we're likely to exceed 8 out of the 13 benchmarks set for the end of the month, and may yet progress more on the remainder. Our achievements here are a testament to the undying Aryan will and persistence in the face of impossible odds, and naturally to you, my Reichsführer, for your vision and direction in this project. My staff has successfully developed a number of new techniques for motivating our Untermensch workers in the construction of the camp first. And particularly effective has been a system of rewards and punishments meted out not only on the workers themselves, but on the close relations or suspected romantic partners. In order not to waste valuable human resources, we have also invented new techniques and tools which emphasizes visual suffering, humiliation, and non delivered Delibitating mutilation. The second pillar of our success has been the application of discarded substantial amphetamine pills to reduce worker sleep and caloric intake. Finally, we have spread agents among the workers who induce their cooperation with small amounts of forbidden gifts and are spreading the rumor that once the camp is complete, all those who worked on this construction will be transferred to a liquidation facility and route to which they will be re rescued by resistance occupation. Naturally, we have marked the individuals most receptive to this delusion as potential troublesome makers or troublemakers for when the camp builders are redesigned as camp inmates. The one failure of this project has been its higher than expected cost in Untermensch laws. Multiple times we've had to halt construction in order to dispose of the bodies that risk spreading diseases that could inhibit further labor. Now, nonetheless, 
We are already beginning working on the office quarters and have started to amass coal reserves for the in-house cremation facilities. Soon the Alden Shell will have a new factory, ever expanding in the arsenals and the capabilities of its Aryan soldiers. Sincerely yours. Obafio Adolf Ackman. P.S. I enjoyed dinner with you and Margaret Saturday. Jolly good. Jolly, jolly good. So when... Oh. Ooh. Optimize armament production. Oh, what is that? So, worker supply, 40, 50. Redomo worker growth, 100. Redomo capacity. Oh, oh, oh boy. I can't wait. But we're going to need a lot of soldiers for that. Oh, it looks like this is a little bit glitchy, glitchy, glitched. But that's okay. Optimize armament production. We will begin an expansion that allows us to increase our production efficiency by 5%. Over the course of the next four months, the worker population in Industry Berserk will incre decrease by 500. If at any point during this time we run out of workers in Redomo, the expansion will fail and our industry will degrade. Screw that. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. R worker growth. You want more workers there? Oh, we have nothing there, too. Um, heck yeah. And it's Normandy. Stack the bodies. I know this is going to be bad, and they won't be loyal to Himmler. But you can have all those laborers. Please, for the love of God. You can have them all. If that's the one place that's not loyal, so be it. I don't, I don't give a crap. Just send them away. <laughs> Build a new camp. I think I'm getting into this a little bit too much. I will I will stuff them full of guys, which sounds really weird out of context. <laughs> uh, uh, that's good enough for now. Uh, these places, I'm just worried about the loyalty a little bit, so... Oh, I didn't look at this one yet, so that should be good enough, right? 400, 800, 120, ah, uh, there you go. Oh, come on, please let me stuff more on you. We have 4,000 maxed. Um, that's actually... Ooh, we should have saved some of that. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'd love to send more officers, but... There you go. And, wait, where was it? Was it Paris itself? No. No. Where was that place? God dang it. I apologize for taking so long with this. 1800. That's good enough. Oh, we already maxed out. Okay, cool. Oh, and we need to do the next focus. So we got that one. A lesson on, democ a lesson on democracy's failures. Hey man, if we need more, like I will shove as many guys in there if we have to. Totally fine with me. I encourage some of corruption. How are they doing over there? Are they killing each other yet? Bashkiria, Vyatka, Samara. Uh, you know what? I want to divide the front. It hurts. One for supplies. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Nice. They will definitely not have any shortage of workers. I will shove so many guys in there if I have to. Ah, artillery, I love it. And happy March, my friends. I'm so sorry that this is going so slow. And we're barely in March of 1964 for episode three, but it, it is what it, what it is, you know. Usually I like being as fast and as efficient in every campaign I do, but this one, it's either you can be fast and efficient, you can be fast or you can do it right. And I wanna make sure we do it right. Okay, so yeah, this is this is better now. Over here, just in case, go and lower that by a little bit more. We lost, we have, oh, we lost some guys, huh? <laughs> no, we haven't. <sighs> good. All right, so that's good. That's okay, ish, ish. Oh, I, I transferred way too many out. Hold on, go back in. Yeah, go back in. Actually, that's almost three hundred, so you can you can take a few more guys. All right, so over here, take a hundred out. That's good enough. Uh, take out that. Oh, we're maxed out. No, we're not. Take more. Uh, take out some more. And then over here, take out some more just in case. Over here, that's almost 300. There you go. Over here, that's good. Over center, Versailles. No, that's a center. And then we have, it's kind of hard to hit this one, is it? No. Center suit. Oh, it is center. Uh, take that. A few more. Oh, wait, this is, uh, except for Normandy, so that's fine. Over here, you can take out just a few more, that's fine. Now we're backed up, so we should be okay for this month. Should be okay. All right, 70 supplies, still not bad. And then, up oh, 707, but infiltrate the Okrana. 
If any of the fighting men in service to the Tsar and Vyaka could be called elite, it would be the Okrana. These guardsmen of the Emperor, responsible for maintaining internal order in their Tsardom, represent the best possible method for the Oltenstadt to influence the political and military development of Vyaka in the extremist position we would design for it. Being as our agents in Vyaka far exceed the martial abilities of any of the local subhumans, it should not be difficult to have them admitted to the Okrana on merit. Still, if the Tsar's guardsmen are too suspicious of their new friends, a few valuable stuff into the right shirt pockets should be more than enough to make it up for it. Just as the Praetorian Guard in ancient Rome so heavily impacted the political affairs of the Romans, so too shall the Krona, under our illicit control, impact the political affairs of the Russian Tsarists. Good. Followed up, we will also... Vo alastrasen enda. But we'll read about stoking fires in a tinder house. In the Russian warlord state of Komi, where once stood just another derelict old building reminding Russians of the old days, there was now a fully functioning propaganda factory helping to usher Russia into a new age. A handful of SS agents stocked with exotic supplies, hard to find in the wastes of Russia, and such as paper's paint, had been enough to repair and renovate the building into what would pass in Russia as an office complex. From there, they produced an extremely efficient printing and inking complex, producing hundreds of propaganda posters a day advertising the campaigns of extremist political parties in the so-called Komi Republic, decrying the dangers of imminent onslaught from the likes of the West Russian Revolutionary Front, the posters depict a Komi Republic on the precipice of destruction, the Red Army about to arrive and crush all the Republic citizens beneath its boot. Those same citizens have seemed receptive to the efforts of our agents thus far. There has been a noticeable uptick in support for nationalist and fascist parties in the most in this most fragile of republics. It likely won't be long now before Komi's little experiment with democracy comes crashing to an abrupt end. It's time to let it spark, but... The Tsar and Vyatka is ready. We've done all that we can to assist him in expanding his state and prepare for the next generation or the next great Russian war. Unbeknownst to him, his, real, his realm will not likely exist in such a capable state without our assistance, and even the man closest to him, responsible for his own safety, are in our pockets. All the pieces that are set right for Vyatka to purge West Russia are the slime it is better off without, and to smite the enemies of the Shutstaffel that persist in the Vatalan's eastern edge. The Tsar will have his empire returned to him at our behest, and his mutual enemies with the Reichsfeer SS will meet their deserved fates. Bathing in holy fire, if a few hundred hundred thousand Slavs would have to die in the rendering West Russia into an empire yet again, then it is all the better. The world could do with a few fewer of the kind anyways. <clears throat> Dirges in the dock. The human mind is a strange organ, always finding ways to adapt for whatever situation it might find itself in. While an Aryan may be able to think his way out of any situation, lesser races have difficulty comprehending such reasoning. Which is what made it all the more surprising when adopted traditions started arising from the labor pool of Rodomo. Although an effort is made to draw the labor pool from all areas of the Oldenstadt, it does not mean that they are incapable of communication and seditious ideals. Folklore. Fernal Hume. Fernal hymns and more are all starting to be reported by industrial sideguards, something that is incredibly discouraging. Supporting subversive cultures at the expense of the Oldenstadt is treason after all, so the SS being concerned is only natural. Concerned, do tell something about them. Okay, good. Well, look at this. Bye bye. Ah, give me your men. Give me the boys. That sounds really weird. That sounds actually really weird out of context. Uh, Rowan, where's Rowan? Good enough. All right. Good enough. Uh, center, good enough, give me your boys, give me them, uh, give me them as well. It's still only March 22nd, so. Uh, 290, I'll oh, right buy a little more. Actually, it's, it should be, it's more than good enough. Over here is fine, I just want to make sure we do okay, I really do. Okay, 200, there you go. Flandern. Nice. Uh, that's pretty good, actually, already. Uh, infiltrate the Okrana, pretty good. That's more than enough officers for that group. And Evero. Very nice. Voalastrasen Enda. We can do all the stuff that we do. Break the Brotherhood's Might. Propping up the Tsar. Refocus the state. Invest financially and stuff like that. We currently have how many supplies? 75? So we're doing pretty darn well here. And I'll let you know that, as you can already tell, this is a long campaign. So. If anything. Oh! Hey, we have 120 police in reserve. Nice. Now, these guys are... Oh, man. I'm so sorry, Hadrish. It is what it is, though. Paris? Oh, is that Versailles? That's center. Versailles. Ratios should be... Can we actually get down? There you go. The ratio in Versailles should be... Police to worker ratio should be one, since it says literally one there. Um, so that's very weird. Gonna cut it down some more. I love Rodomo. God. Rodomo is so nice. So nice this time of year. And over here, anything here different? Nope. There you go. That should be. Uh, there you go. Roan. Give me your soldiers. Give me your boys. Uh, that's okay. Valon Pont. Vichy. Give me them. Normandy. Where are you? 
Um, if you want, we can increase the soldiers here by quite a bit. And then just do that. Put them all in here. And give me your boys. Um, 290, 400. That's okay. I think we're doing okay now. I think we're really doing okay. We shouldn't have any real issues now. Uh, this one might actually be a slight issue, but not really. Good, good, good. Oh, what's going on over here? Vyadka. Oh, Aryan Brother is... They lost it to Bashkiria. Oh, look at that. But I think it's time to read the next one. Regarding penal repair battalions, it is inevitable that even in warfare of the kind most meticulously planned and executed as their victory against the French, some small proportion of the conquest will be spoiled, besides successfully obliterating the Vichy regime's excuse for a military. We've also incidentally obliterated many roads, factories, and freshmen, all viable resources that we need that need to be maximally utilized if we are to fulfill the plans for the development issued by the Reichsführer SS. Thankfully, the fruits of our labor contain precisely the remedy needed to afford its acquisition. The roads and factories of France were all built by French hands which advance French interests, and though those same hands shall now rebuild them this time, to further the advancement of the German race. To those new unwilling members of our state shall earn the oxygen and porridge that continues to sustain their lives through an act most uncommon to the French, honest labor. The soldier that resisted us and the civilians that abetted them shall not be executed in mass as they deserve and shall be instead be offered the opportunity to assist our regime by rebuilding and upgrading the infrastructure of the newly annexed territory of the Oldenstadt. They shall be grateful for the opportunity or they shall die. But greasing the bear. Oh, give me that grease. The time has come for our final preparations in West Russia. The great showdown between communist and anti-communist forces in the region is about to kick off, and it is clear which side's victory would most benefit the designs of the Reichsführer's SS. Our agents ad adjunct to Russia have been acting in the shadows for months and years to subtly turn the nationalist Russian state into something more than just another warlord, something that can fight against the festering corpse of the Soviet Union and our Congos and win. Our primary contact in Vyatka, the river merchant responsible for positioning so many of our men in the Okhrana, will receive word of a large new shipment coming in soon. A cache of upgraded weapons is not all that awaits him. We'll also be transferring all of our field agents in Russia to Vyatka to directly assist in the impending war personally. The collar bear will maul the communist menace to death for us and feast on its corpse to become a power to rival the corruption that pollutes the Reich. Not only will Russia be purged of Judeo-Bolshevik Bolshevik influences, but it also stands strong enough to take its place in our great plans for the future. The SS Oldenstadt Bergen is about to witness a great personal victory, and shall not have, have too much to move more than a finger to see it done. The Reichsführer SS should be proud. So we're pretty much done there. It's just it's in progress. Um, it's in progress. We make the various actions through focuses and decisions to circle with politics. Um, I'm not really sure what else we can do here then, because they're not finding anybody yet, it looks like. Lend a helping hand? I don't want to lose support equipment, so... I can give you some more manpower, maybe. Get some supplies, some... We're not going to lose political power either. I'm not going to lose that. Empower the Krana? While elections are a disgusting institution, they can be manipulated away from the weak and go towards the strong. Silence the opposition. Now we can do that. Shove Komi towards destruction. Push it, or shove it. I, I don't even care. Oh, they are technically on the right already. Break the Brotherhood Might. Samada. Well, we can come back and look at that in a little bit. Um, I do want to cancel that, but... Uh, when do we know it's done, though? But after this one... The Parisian marriage. Many years have passed since the two halves of France were first divorced. Whilst the Paris of the West continued on as a reminder to the unworthy vanity of a dying nation, all Paris has evolved into something better under our tutelage. Orderly and productive, the people of... <clears throat> Of the eastern half of the city of Bergen to remember the truth of humanity and to besmirch the luxuries and biases that define their western counterpart. Those citizens of all Paris who rejected us and have attempted to flee to the west over the years are now our clay to mold yet again. Many of the more prominent, most destitute of them will surely have to be liquidated. Eichmann has already begun his work, but to the mind of the rest will be purified through diligent service to the Oldenstadt. Foremost among this service will be the destruction of the wall and the razor wire and minefields that once delineated all Paris from the rest. The purpose has been obviated. There is no longer anywhere for Os Paris's degenerates to run. No, 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 no. They're gonna run in our little camps. Very good. Ah, good. Let's go and do it. And it's almost May. Oh, oh yes. Please. Oh, yes. Can we do this one? Yes. Alright, so it's May, and things are still looking pretty much exactly the same, which is not bad. Over here, um, they need more. Honestly, they could probably use more police officers and stuff. So uh, over here, twenty-three hundred lowered by one. We did it good. Over here, lower it by one. That's good enough. Over here, lower it by fifteen hundred. Uh, fifteen hundred, eighteen hundred, sixteen hundred. Uh, do that. Okay, very good. Normandy. 
There's some more guys. Uh, you guys, one, two, three. Good enough. Or over here, one, two, good enough. That's more than fine. That's, uh, you can throw by a little bit more if you want to. Paris. Oh, wow. Oh, no wonder Paris is. Oh, gross around Paris is okay. These guys are. Oh, that's not looking good. Yeah, this part of Paris or Versailles. Yeah, Versailles is okay. Center. Versailles. Um, I don't know why they don't have that much loyalty to us. Oh, no, it's Paris itself. Well, I guess that makes sense. Look at that. That's pretty bad. Thousand. Uh, actually, go back up. A thousand, two thousand is good enough. Over here, lower by a little bit more. Over here, that's fine. Over here, that's fine-ish. Over here, that's fine. Valompont, good enough. There you go, good enough. Uh, lower by a little bit more, and we're maxed out. Once again. What, are we really maxed out? No, not really. <laughs> Confiscate all decadence. That which is most highly treasured by the French is their art and physical culture, painting, sculptures, and the like, all of which are as refused to us. Useless to the SS and to the German people. Our own strict mor morality is not shared by the art collectors and other deviants of the world, though. And there is no shortage of men as wealthy as they are degenerate who would eagerly pay us outrageous sums for this or that work of art. Wealth, wealth buys war material and the resources to construct it, so we are all too happy to oblige. Oh, uh, new oh look, what we, have. we have more space. We have more space. Okay, yeah. A thousand, that's good enough. Um, 300, 600, not bad. I guess we go come over here. There you go. Ah, the Parisian message. Oh, Himmler won, huh? All right, well, whatever. Don't really care too much right now. Mm, give me some more guys. Confiscate all decadence. Lend a helping hand. Nope. Anything up here yet? Nope. That's fine. Are, oh, are they actually fighting? Yeah, that's good. Uh, break the brother's might. Why not? Sabotage. Anything else? We are doing more than okay with that stuff. Alright, let's go and see the next one as well. The call to arms. Hadrish has exists. So let's do that one. Let's see what we can help. Hadrish, maybe? Or maybe we can expand the mines. I kind of want to help expand the mines. I'm glad we're done with this one. But how do we... Help those guys. A global plant element called arms could allows us to send volunteers to Hadrich in the German Civil War and lock a new decision category for supporting the war effort. Einsatzgruppen in Germany. Flow the border. Um, I'm probably just going to ignore them, which really kind of sucks, but. <sighs> Fight to Germania. Blot out the sun. Fire and brimstone. The spots and phalanx. That was actually not too bad. Uh, new set of decisions allowing to launch attacks against enemy assets in the Germans of War. Uh, I get, uh, I kind of want to do expanding the mines. I really want to expand the mines. Resource efficiency gains. Ooh, industrial equipment goes up. Pure Aryan industry. Okay, that's kind of cool. But this stuff too. Global plant elephant. I want to unlock that one. With the situation in Oldenstadt now confidently secure, we need not concern ourselves with the fate of our base. Now is the time to look outwards. Although the late Fuhrer endured beyond his mishap with the Kenpai Tai agent, he was not long for this world. Ever since his fateful end, the world has fallen into chaos and anarchy. In this anarchy lies our future. The Dark Continent is aflame as our allies are helplessly locked in a costly yet tame conflict with the Americans, doing battle over the future of those far-flung lands. Perhaps if the right dominoes, if the right dominoes are filled, then this conflict could escalate into much more than just a battle between pawns upon a global chessboard. Look at all that political power we got! Holy crud! And this is still not very happy with us. Why? Well, how dare you? Oh, we can't do this one. Oh, we need more support equipment, which makes sense. Gosh darn it! Uh, we can only have 77 supplies. We're actually getting a lot more supplies than what we're actually using. Um, buy tools. Nothing down there. That's totally fine. Uh, just in case, I kind of want to prop you guys up. You know what? Screw it. This place? No, which one's this one? Paris is not loyal. Get some more officers in there. That'll be okay. Uh, we have 3,400. It's the beginning of the month. I apologize once again. And Rhone. It's looking... Well, there you go. Uh, Valompont. It is looking... There you go. And Vichy is not good. Now it's Bueno. Burgonde. Flagschaft. And then Centre Sud. Good. Uh, actually, you should be okay with that. Yeah, that should be good enough. So we 200, uh, 340, that's good. Over here, that's good enough. Right? No, it's not. 
numbers. Numbers, what do they mean? Numbers, 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 numbers. Over here, 460 is good enough. Over here, that's good enough. 22, you can lower that by one. There you go. Cool. That's all the space we got. Actually, I lied. Rodomo, there's more guys. Global pen, elephant. Oh, look at that. Stabilize the boars. We lose 25 political power and get uh, lose some equipment and we get help out the boar republic. How's, that, how's things going down here? Oh, it's not going very well for him, huh? Um, that they might not be able to survive that long then. Hmm. We could try it once. Why not? Cutting the cords. The war will grind to a halt as all sides are forced to adapt. So in the seeds of discontent. There's still chaos in the lands of the free. Growing. Oh. So in the seeds of discontent. The call to arms. How bad is Hadris losing now? Hold on. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. That's uh, pretty bad. Not gonna lie. It's pretty bad. <sighs> Do we just let him go and just die? It's only seven days. The call to arms. Hadrish is the only one of the participants of the Burger Creek to hold true to national so so socialism. The rest are traitors or loyalty owed only to capital haughty generals or their own ego egoism. They will all meet their deserved end surely as the sun will rise, yet it is still incumbent upon us to ensure that the sun rises sooner than later. The German SS pales in comparison to the might of the Burgundian SS, and although we cannot afford to send the whole of our army into the Rhineland to dispatch with the traitors, we will do all that we can to support Hadrish in his rightful ascent to command of Germania. We'll see what happens. It's probably not going to go very well for us, but looking abroad. Once again, the Aryan Jack Boot parades to the streets of Paris as the French once again find themselves humiliated and defeated. With a shoot stuff, a banner flying proudly over the left bank of the Seine and far beyond, we must now look to secure the wider world before setting the Reichsfear SS's plans properly into motion. In Africa, the Boers and Anglos are at one another's throats. Those who were once brothers under one flag are now pitted against each other as foes. We find the Boers to be rather like minded to ourselves and our allies, and as such, we would do the world a rather great service should they find themselves victorious in the struggle. Munitions and funds are already being prepared so that the Boers may have the equipment and the means to fight and triumph over the South African oppressors. What provisions that we do send will travel through Ost Africa, where we ho must hope that our man Hutik will ensure the safe delivery of all supplies and funds to the Boers. Ensure that it arrives swiftly. Old ones go first. So be it. Even though, oh god, no. We just sent all the support equipment we had. God dang it. Hmm. There goes Tricky Dick. Ooh, these guys are killing each other. Ooh, I want to hurt. Uh, I'd prefer Tartar Stan winning, so let's hurt uh, these guys. Um, sure, sure. You know, do both. It's still only June. Good, good, good. And Hadrian just wake, help him out, flood the border. Sure, why not? Bombs explode and bullets approach from the horizon all over the Reich, and this devastation has not been conductive to the manufacturing capability of Hadrich's swath of territory. If their own factors are not capable of sustaining the war, then it falls upon us as a sponsor to fill in the gaps. Those loyal to Hadrich in the Reich who cannot find themselves a rifle of German make to fight with the fight with shall fight with the Burgundian one, and the board of the Oldenstadt and the Reich shall be flooded with all manner of war material. It is of a special importance to the Reichsfear SS that Hagish wins the war, and the sacrifice of a portion of our industrial capacity is far from too high a price to pay to meet this end. That's okay, let him do it. Let them do it. It's only June and we're still doing pretty well. Oh, we can actually take away some more guys. Yes, please. And Flandern. Not bad. Thank you. Oh, come on, Viaka, you gotta do well. I do kind of want to finish this one and get under the next one as fast as possible. Oh! Well, the brother's doing okay now. Sabotage Samara, screw it, do that one too. Bashkiria, very nice, very nice. It's still only June, so that's okay, flood the border. I would like to get to leading the charge, though, but we got better equipment and artillery ourselves, which is okay, it's not really super important to focus on right now, so let's do this quickly. Grab some of that. Leading the charge, because I want to get him to Spartan discipline. We're done assisting Hadrish in this war. Now, as the Burger Creek intensifies, it is time for us to lead the charge ourselves. The warriors of the SS Oldenshot Burgen will show Hadrish's loyalists how to fight from example. Our divisions on the front lines of our own Vataland will hold the candle marching into the darkness of the rotten world beyond. Every soldier that fights against us is guilty of treason and will be afforded treason's legal penalty, as will any of Hadrish's forces who fail to live up to the standards we expect of them. Half measures are fully over. It is time that Hadrish's attempt to seize power in the Reich either win or die. Good luck. And if, oh, he just dies. Oh, he's going to die. Holy crap. That was, okay. Wow. Okay, so actually, I thought Hadrian just died there. No, Speer died. Holy crap. I've never seen Hadrian outlive Speer. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. I've never seen that before. Maybe I haven't been paying enough attention to these guys, but wow. 
Uh-oh. This is not good. Ah, it's July now, so go figure. Take him out. And still here. Loyalty, so bad. Paris, 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 Paris. Uh, Normandy, um, you got a lot more laborers you need. Alright, good. All around here, take them out. Here, take them out. Now we're maxed out again. God dang it. Um, oh, look at that. The German Civil War mobilized. Oh, the fear is dead, of course. Mobilize the Burgundian SS. Replace Waffen SS with Burgundian SS. I can get in some more soldiers. Arm shipments for Hadrish. Mm, we're kind of okay. Anti tank, support equipment, main battle tanks. How many soldiers can we send them? Three. Wow, that's not bad. Panzer divisions, and you guys are motorized. I don't want to lose everyone, so let's go do one, two, three. Under Josephus Francois, uh, send Jean Basson Pierre. If this it sounds like a French man, so if he dies, he dies. You know, it's whatever. If he actually dies over there, you know, it's, it's okay with us. Oh, good. Yes, finally. Okay, good. Uh, let's go out some of these guys again. Uh, 2200, 1 2. Thank you. Good. Around here. At least we can put these guys somewhere. That is 1800, so that's good enough. Uh, 1 2. Um, 15. That is 1800, so that's good enough. Yeah, some of these, I know I've already done some of these, just my mind is just like, Going to this several times in an episode just makes me go wee a little bit. Make sure we really get them down for side. That's okay. Over here. Oh my goodness, that's really bad. Wow. Yeah, we have to do it like that then. All right. Viatka, what are you doing? We gotta hurt the Brotherhood some more then. Or does? All right. It is July, so we gotta wait till August for the next time. So Brotherhood sabotage. Vlogda Komi. Well, that sucks. Leading the charge, breakdowns in Rodomo. Over the past few weeks, several factories in the industrial berserk, Rodomo have been plagued with mishaps. Machines have broken down, resources have arrived damaged, and all sorts of other little problems have culminated in lagging production and delayed quotas. Some of the accidents were rather serious, too. A water pipe and a steel mill burst yesterday, causing a steam explosion that severely scalded a dozen workers. Although the Aryan foreman and the floor supervisors were fortunately unharmed, it nonetheless has put the factory out of commission for the next several days. Thankfully, this has not proven to be a deliberating setback. Increasing the quota at other steel mills has done more than enough to offset the deficit, and the closed mills should be able to return to full operating capacity within the week. With any luck, this soon will be behind us. Some minor bump on the road of progress. So be it. So be it. Good. Optimize. Oh, 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 we can do more optimizations? Uh, let's see. Oh, the worker's population will decrease by six. Go. Do it. Do it. Do it. We got too many bodies. <laughs> Empower the Krana. Uh, divide the front. Yeah, I don't like this, guys. Do it. How many... How much supplies do we have? 71. When is this focus... When is this going to get done? Oh, there goes Kennedy. Goodbye, Kennedy. All right. That's fine. And... So, in the seeds of discontent. We haven't done that one yet. Uh, a predictable failure. Oh, no. Evacuating local officers? That might be good to do. Does not exist. Withdraw the elites. Totenkopf and the Reichsführer assets will arrive from Germany. Nuclear keepsakes? That would not be bad. Our new man. Unlock a decision category allowing to support the efforts of Hermann Goring to win this German Civil War. Blow the passes. Free the slaves. Okay. A learning opportunity. That wouldn't be bad. I kind of want to expand the mounds to get rid of more slaves right now. And continue doing this stuff as well. But seriously, when does this end? I don't want to cancel it, but... Cutting the cords. Um, stretch out the war. Slow down the laughing general and his fools in order to lay the end of the war. Let's let's do this one. Slowing the seeds of discontent first. If the USA is a giant, then it is the most frail giant to have ever been born from the annals of history in America. They say that their nation stands as a bastion of liberty and freedom. Never before has weakness been so thinly veiled, for the nation is ruled by not more than a cabal of Jews and delinquents who use their thin veil to milk the placent populace dry. As they seek to once again spread their shadow across the globe, the weakness of the American nation can, however, be exploited. We shall mobilize our vast subversive resources to the U.S., from where they will begin the campaign to expose the wicked war of subjugation and that of government in Africa. The American people have already sown the seeds. All we must do is water the plant and allow it to blossom into a beautiful display of discontent and unrest within the U.S. of A. Oh, increase the fire core. Why not? Make sure that these guys have more than enough supplies that they need. More, 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 more supplies. 
Kvyaka, what the heck are you doing? Do something. Crooked Cross? You have to win. Okay, they went to War of the Brotherhood. They have 5,000 soldiers. Is that it? The, oh my gosh. These guys. The Aryan Brothers. 23,000 and 10 soldiers. What have you been smoking here, Tsar? I'm ready to just give up on them. But growing the chaos? Not bad. Not a bad idea. Uh, I do want to expand the mines. I, I want to do that. For a millennium, mankind has toiled upon this earth, serving his bloodline by producing whatever fruits of his labor may aid them in the ongoing crisis of their time and age. However, and such themes have not withered away as the labor of man sends them miles beneath the surface to carve out the treasures provided by the earth, inherently destined for the use of the rightful area. However, with capitalism's paras parasitic, murderous rampage across the markets of the modern day, the Aryan finds himself unable to benefit for its destined riches to use for the greater glory of his blood and state. No more, however, as we shall d direct state resources in order to greatly expand upon the current mines in use throughout the Olsenstadt, and opening up as many as possible in order to maximize potential gain from the land miles below our steps. No more shall the Aryan claim an inability to provide services towards the state, as any and all shall find themselves within reach of a mine shaft, reaching to the un to unearth the pleasures of the cores of the earth. So now we have the ability to harvest the precious resources of the central massif in exchange for skilled workers. I love it! Yes, yes! And still July, that's just totally fine. Breaking the chains of these guys, crippled by revolt. Uh do it anyways. We need it. We need them to do that. And come on, you're not getting rid of. Ooh, so discontent in America. Oh, crew increasingly discontent with the war in Africa. We have enough uh, political power for that. Sure, why not? Sounds like a good idea. How's it going down here? Johannesburg, not bad, not bad. For elephant, loyal, loyal, loyal. Hopefully, hopefully. We have no more. Oh, oh, happy August, everyone. So I apologize, but once again, we're gonna do this. We have 20. Oh, hey, they're loyal again. Okay, so Versailles. No, it is Paris. Uh, they're becoming more and more loyal, which is good. And we're already maxed. Oh, we're not maxed out. Just really lower it for now. I want them to be loyal to us. They have to be loyal to us, no matter what. Flanders. Uh, do I have to? There you go. And you guys up here, looking relatively okay. That's good enough. Normandy. Well, you guys already have enough in there for now. If we can. Move around some of these guys, that'd be really good. And we're maxed out again. <sighs> we have too many. Let me get rid of these guys. Viaka, you've got to win. How are you lose? How did you lose land already? How bad is they? Is they? Are they? How bad is Viatka? Please. Who can buy blitz off? That's nice. Uh, adaptive command, uh, planned assaults. Uh, we'll probably go this one. Adaptive command for more organization for our guys. Okay, so there you go, Vyatka. Thank you. At least you did something. Uh, the new approach. When the assassination of the Fuhrer was foiled at the last minute, we despaired that we might have lost our chance at steering the Reich away from degeneracy. Then we dared to hope once more for the paroxysms paroxysms in the wake of the Fuhrer's death offered a new opportunity. One slugged with more blood than we might have hoped, but an opportunity nonetheless. Whether degenerate or misled, flung themselves at each other in a fra Fatricidal fury. Hadrius would be the Reich's for SS's useful proxy as national daddies and emerged in the Reich, or so we had hoped. The reports we have received from Hadrius's sector would seem to indicate that regretfully, quantity has a quality all of its own. The inferior masses of the Reich would sooner see the Reich rot than to see it reforged. They've taken our pawn out of play. Hadrius is believed missing or dead, and his men are abandoning their posts. Having displayed our hands so openly in recent conflict, we can no longer expect any feasible avenue for taking direct control over the Reich. So be it. If the degenerates wish to rot like pigs in the ruined cities, then so then they can do so. We will finish our business with Hadrish and his men, before exploring a more subtle approach to realizing the Reich's Fuhrer SS's vision. We seek opportunities elsewhere. A predictable failure. Um, which was this one. If you like to about that, please go right ahead. Which, we're probably going to evacuate little people too, but still. I really want to get that one done, but how about withdraw the elites? Even as Hadrian's efforts have collapsed, there is still wheat to be taken from the chaff or chaff. We must remove units of the SS and pro Hadrian forces from the rocket once to ensure that their infer inferior actors in the Vatalan have no chance of using them. All right, so looks like Comey's doing well. Oh, oh yes, get rid of them. Get rid of those. That's good. Uh, that's good. Let's see. Over here, twenty-nine. Uh, removed by one. Over here. Oh, that's not good. Uh, actually. Go back up. There you go. We still need to have some space of our own. Uh, 1, 2, uh, 32, 40, 32, 40. There you go. Over here, 18, 40. It's still as low as 1900, 1800. Eh, do it by one. That's okay. And or down here, 1, 2, 3, 2021. That's good. Roan. Do it by one. Valon Pont. Uh, that's almost 300. So there you go. Vichy is looking good. You guys are looking a little bit too much for me. There you go. 1800. 
Good. You guys. 830. 60. There you go. Uh, and then there you go. And then center. Not bad. You guys looking very good in Versailles. Very, very good. Paris kind of sucks, though. It really sucks in Paris. But we're doing okay there. Mm. You know what? Give me more workers then from some place, some other place. Max me out already. Because we can probably get rid of more of them, so. Expand the mines. And then withdraw the elites. Very good. We could use those extra divisions, though. Ooh. Uh, do we need a new event? Ooh. Stabilize the boars. What is this? We get more guns. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to really help them out. That's pretty bad already, so I think we'll wait. Let's save our PP, because PP is a resource that we don't have not to have an unlimited amount. Uh, help, uh, lend a helping hand. I don't want to lose support equipment. Nope. Propping up the Tsar. Do that one. That's fine. Cuts. Or spend cut. They're looking slightly better. That's not bad. Anything else? Nope. And that's okay. It's still August, and then we shall do evacuate loyal officers. The failure of Hadrian have may have come at the cost of many good Aryan SS men, but many still remain within the impure gyre that is the Reich. We must evacuate as many as we can to the Oldenstadt. They will surely be useful in time, and there can be no waste of good officers. Good. And happy September, my friends. In which I think it is a good time, potentially, to end the episode here, because we're already at about an hour and a half. So I will go ahead and do th this month's, you know, stuff down here off screen but if you enjoy the video leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below let me know should we do unsavory friends uh, versus our, our own hands let me know which one we should do in which we get expanded pipeline versus development hoffenstadt uh as well as our benevolent help versus burgundian shipyards as well as uh, the fist titan even though i personally prefer this one just because i don't really want to focus on ships too much but let me know which one we should do in the comments below but if you like the video like i said leave a like subscribe Discord link. Cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.